tuning in to A Graders What to Expect. Today, we have with us Ms. Jody, the science expert, who will share with us on what your going to P5 child should expect for science. It's not going to be easy moving from the lower block to the upper block, but I believe that parents are interested to find out what are the key differences in the syllabus from P4 to P5. So Ms. Jody, can you share with us some insights you have? Okay, for P4, their questions are more direct, whereby they, the most they're just asking about uh, observation, which is characteristics of animals, or the questions are made based on applying the science concept into the answers itself. But for P5, what happened is they actually have to have two main differences, okay, which is first, the questions are getting uh, expansion questions are getting more complicated whereby they have to apply more steps. So if you look at the differences, okay, for P1 questions uh, as shown in this worksheet, in this question here, what happened if you notice explanation questions for part E is that they only take one step, which is applying the science concept, which is for example air spaces or displacement into the answer. But if you were to look at a P5 answer for a typical P5 question. Okay, it requires them three steps, which is number one, uh, looking at the table, which leads to increased exposed surface area. Second step, which is they have to apply their science concept, which is exposed surface area will lead uh, to float, uh, fluid being able to float in the air for a longer period of time. And third step, they have to actually link back this science concept into the questions, which actually ask about dispersal. So, for P4, actually requires one step, but for P5 explanation questions, require three steps to answer it. So, the last main differences is that for P5, they require a certain technique to answer specific topics. So, they actually have a fixed technique. So, if you were to look at the question, again, this is a typical P5 water cycle questions that will come up. So, what happened is that the, 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 they are actually required to memorize words like evaporated, uh, lost heat and condensed. So what happened is that if they did not input any of this uh, or missing of any of the scientific keywords, they will actually lose a mark. So let's say if they did not mention lost heat, they only get one mark based on the first sentence itself. Sounds really challenging. So what can parents do to help their child? Okay, parents could actually actually strengthen I would say strengthen the, their technique on answering questions, mm -hmm. make them uh, look through all the short answer questions, memorize the, the keywords that I mentioned earlier, for example, the water cycle as I mentioned earlier. And also, uh, since it's December, what happens is they could actually look through their, their uh, P5 textbook. Uh, I recommend most school actually starts on reproduction in plants, so they could actually start on reproduction in plants and uh, look through all the scientific keywords again so that it's easier for them to answer their short answer questions when the school opens. That's great. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. To watch more of such videos and information to help your child improve and learn ahead of others in school, visit our website www.agrader.sg, click on this button, fill in your email address and receive all these useful videos straight in your inbox for free as well as the latest in promotions so that you don't lose out on great deals with A-Grader Learning Centre.